Hi, are you having trouble controlling those German cockroaches in your home? I mean, those roaches that when you turn on the light at night, they're scattering all over your kitchen, that they come out of your toaster, your microwave, all over your drawers, there's poop and excrement from them that has that awful smell. Hi, I'm Frank Hernandez with Nature Pest. In this episode, we're going to show you how to not only control them, but get rid of them in an environmentally responsible manner that won't contaminate your food or your kitchen. So stay tuned. If you're still dealing with roaches and you like to perform your own bait, con bait control services for roaches, this is a great product. It's Advion Cockroach Gel Bait. Now one of these tubes is large enough to be able to do a really large kitchen in a large home up to three times. So one tube can last anywhere between two to five years. The I mean one packet can last about two to five years depending on how many times you have to apply it. For a small kitchen in an apartment, this product is great. You get one tube of this, you apply it to your kitchen, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to perform a service in an apartment, and within about a week to two weeks to about a period of a month, you will notice your cockroaches are gone. Even in places that have heavy infestations and that even if the apartment next door is not treating theirs, and uh, they are having to perform you know, spray services every month and the landlord doesn't want to take care of your problem, this is a great product. If you use this alone, you will get rid of your roach infestation problem. And in this episode, we're going to show you how to use Advion Cockroach Bait Gel. Okay. You're gonna, you got your kitchen, lower kitchen cabinets, and what you're going to do is you're going to squat down all the way to the base plate. And you see that crack that's down there? Female roaches love to hide in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to see how I put that little dot of bait right in there. You're going to do that. And if for heavy infestation, the manufacturer recommends that you put between three to five drops about every 10 feet. So if you've got a crack about that big that you can stick that needle in there, you're going to do it. Then you're going to look up here. And see along here, you see that little crack that you got there? Yeah, you're going to put a dot there, and you're going to come about five feet over here. You're going to put another one, and you're going to put, you can put some exposed, but it's best to put it in the cracks because females love those cracks so they can fit their body in there and go along here, and they can fit their body in there, and they can lay their eggs. So little tiny holes, they're going to love it. Any crack that you have, See that crack right there on your base plate? Right there, you're going to stick a little dot of that. And it doesn't need to be a big dot, just a little dot. But this is out of the way. It's not contaminating any of your food. It's not contaminating the whole house. All right, so that's all you're going to do for that German roach. Now you're going to move up to the cabinets. And you're going to take your cabinets, and you're going to open them up. And you can put a little drop right here on that hinge. See that little drop right in there? You're going to stick a little drop and you're going to put a little drop in there right on that hinge. You're going to take your other hinge and you're going to do this on all the hinges in your house. And you're going to come in here, you're going to look around, you're going to pull out that drawer. All right, you're going to get all the way to the back. And we're inside the cabinet and you're going to look for cracks. If you see them feeding, you can put it directly in front of them so they can feed like right in here, put it like that, and they will feed on that, preferably on a crack. So if you have a heavy infestation, you can put it like right there, see, and put it there, and look around anywhere that you can so you can find cracks that you can bait. And like I said, one drop about every 10 feet to one drop to every two feet, um, you know, every two feet for every 10 feet of run, that's all you're going to need. One tube, we're going to go ahead and pull out of here. And one tube should give you control for one kitchen and, and, and about three bathrooms. See, I'm putting them here along the railing for about a year. So one packet will last you a good uh, two to five years. You shouldn't need uh, any more. You're going to do the same thing. Now you're going to come up to your cabinets here. And even with your baby stuff, you don't have to worry. 
you're going to put into that there, you're going to put a little drop right there. You're going to move over here. You're going to put another drop. You're looking for cracks and crevices that you can put this product in. All right, so if you've got a problem up above, you're looking up there, there are no cracks. You can always put a little drop like that. See, just a little tiny drop that's exposed. If you have them roaming around in your cabinet, they're going to find it. Just put a little drop like that. Doesn't have to be very big. Never ever put a big giant line. Just a drop. All right. Now we're going to take a look, inspect this kitchen. Where else could we find? Yeah, you see that down there, right underneath the vent. Yeah, you're going to stick a little drop underneath that vent. You're going to come over here on the side of the vent, put a little drop in there. All right. Now you know you should caulk all this. This has been caulked, I think. But anyway, there's a crack right there, and you stick it in there. Go up here. And we got another crack up here, and you're going to put some in there. Well, let me get the light out of the way. And you're going to put a crack in there. So between there, you've got a couple of little drops. You're going to do that to all of your doors, all of your cabinet, everywhere in your kitchen. You look underneath here. Ah, there's a crack right there that they can love to get into. Right there, right underneath the cabinet. I usually start at the base plate, do the bottom cabinets. And then I work uh, the hinges and then work my way up to the top cabinets and go all the way around the kitchen doing everything. And I also do the bathroom in the same way. If you have it inside the dishwasher, you can always put it if your needle will reach at a place like this. There it is right there. And you're going to put another drop there. You're going to look around the bottom of your counter and you're going to inject it in there as much as you can. You're going to try to do that. If you see, like I said, if you're exposed, you can always put a little bit and just put a little bit like that. And that's all you're going to need. One tube should do a very, very large kitchen, uh, about a third of the tube. So one tube should last you for, you do this about every three to four months and you will not have any roaches in your home. Hey, we hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, will you do us a favor and help us right now? Will you go down to that little like button, the thumbs up, and give us a like there? And this will indicate to other people that this video has been useful to you. Also, you can subscribe to our channel, which will make our videos available to you the moment they're published. You can also go to our website at naturepest.com, and there you can subscribe to our blog and receive the latest news on pests, products, diseases, lawns, shrubs, trees, palms, anything related with pests and how to control them. So we thank you for tuning in, and this is Frank Hernandez wishing you a pest-free day.